I like to get up, but it just won't stop raining. It's done nothing but rain just lately. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. It's supposed to be summer, goddammit. First off, the reinstalling Windows was an almost complete success. I say almost, because although RT7 Lite did slipstream service pack 1 into the Windows 7 install, and I was able to install Windows off a USB drive, unfortunately RT7 Lite did not install Firefox, and it did not take out all the things that I didn't want. So, um, you know, we're pretty much back in business. As for encoding video and audio, one of you suggested that I should try Format Factory. So I've installed that and gonna give that a little bit of a go. So I'm gonna try and use it to convert all the files for my camera so I can put those into my video editor instead of using Virtual Dub, which is what I used to do. And we'll see how well this goes. Well, would you believe it? It's actually stopped raining. So though I will do a blog. First off, in my very messy shed, I found these very two interesting looking speakers. They look pretty old. Probably from the 1960s, I'd imagine. I've never seen speakers with legs on them, but... Let's see if they're still good. Let's see if they still work. So, got a battery here. And I'm just gonna... It's very hard to do this one-handed. Try and hold the camera and do this thing at the same time. I'm just going to connect the battery to the leads and see if I get a response out of the speaker. Well, that one's responding. Let's see if the other one does anything. That one sounds pretty good. This one sounds very scratchy though, so I think maybe the driver's blown on it. But that's nothing, not, the, not something I can't repair, because I've got plenty of speaker drivers that would probably be a suitable replacement to put in this. So, uh, that might be a little project for later on. I haven't done one of these walking, talking blogs for a while. So I'm going to talk about the weather. That is, if you can hear me over the wind blowing into the microphone. I have to talk right up close to the camera so you can hear it. Yeah. Just, what is with the weather lately? I mean, we're in June right now. And the temperatures are like winter temperatures. And it's been raining almost non-stop. As a matter of fact, this is about the first time in days where it's actually not raining. Is it safe to go along here? Yes, it's safe because their door's shut. Won't come along this way if their door's open. This old woman and her two mean, vicious, ferocious, untamed beasts that live in that house. But I think they've changed their door. For some reason that door is all nearly always open, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just so busy in there that there's people always coming in and out, so they have to keep the door open or quite what. Every time I go past there, though, if that door's open, those dogs come out and start barking and growling and everything at me. If there wasn't a fence there, I know I would be attacked and killed. I wonder if this thing is still unlocked. Yeah, it is. Of course, I'm not going to mess about with anything in there, but just look at all that wiring. If I keep 
if I, um, I know I'll start mucking about with that if I stay there too long. Which wouldn't, um, make a few people a bit angry, because they wouldn't be able to watch their TV or have their internet or whatever that does. I don't believe this. I only charged this camera's battery last night. I've only done like maybe eight minutes of recording and already it's down to two bars. That's another thing. Modern batteries. They lose their charge. They lose their capacity so quickly. It wasn't like that in the old days. Old-fashioned rechargeable batteries lasted so much longer. Sure, the capacity might have not been as good, but they didn't lose it as quickly as modern batteries do. And I'm going to shut off the camera while I think of something else to talk about. Yes, I've got another thing I could talk about. Hubba-dubbas. Or foreigners. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not racist. But I don't understand why... There are so many foreigners living here. At first I just thought this was some kind of trend that was going around, speaking some kind of new made-up language. But now it turns out that none of these people from here are around. None of the people around here are natives. Now, every time I go out, I'm surrounded. Well, maybe not surrounded, but everybody around me is going hubba dubba wubba dubba rubba dubba. I'm sure that's not what they're actually saying, but it sure sounds like it. And like I said, I'm not racist. I've got no objection to a few foreigners living here. You know, a few, a few living here, a few living there. I've got absolutely no problem with that. When there are so many of them around here that I feel like I'm a foreigner in my own country, that you know there's a problem. And I'm not making this up, but one day when I went out, I kept a mental note of how many people I noticed who spoke English and how many who didn't. And when I came back, I tallied up the results and I found that around 90% of the people around here do not speak English. So about one in every ten people in this town, at least, don't speak, um, speak English. And the other, you know, all the others don't. So what's up with that? I don't know why... Everybody sort of just moved out and all this Euro trash moved in. It's not like it used to be in the old days. We used to have Limeys and Yanks living here. The Yanks were here because they were in the armed forces and need somewhere to stay. And that was perfect. I even had a few American friends and they've all moved off now. So I'm pretty much just here by myself. There's another reason why I want to be a kid. Kids get to ride on all kinds of things that I'll never get a chance to now because I'm too old and too big. But like I was saying, surely for these people, all these foreigners, it would even be better for them if they still lived where they come from, where the language barrier wouldn't be a thing, and other things wouldn't be problems. It just makes no sense why they're all here. This weather, I feel like emigrating myself. I'm somewhere far away where winter really isn't a thing. I mean, it might just as well be winter right now with this weather.
It's supposed to be summer. Anybody would think we're in January. At least the rain has stopped, so I can get out and do a vlog. Person. I thought this place would be a good place to do a vlog. Didn't think there'd be anybody about, and there are people everywhere. I guess it. With this weather, it makes me feel like emigrating to somewhere where winter really isn't a thing. I wish I lived in my utopia or my happy place. You know what, what my utopia is? You know all that synthwave stuff and that like aesthetic you know, graphics? All the neon colours and that? Well, it's got a city that looks like that, but there's no crime. And there's a radio station that plays that kind of music all night. But the people there are considerate and they all speak English and nobody has their music blaring out so loud that it keeps everybody else awake although in this utopia I live in the suburban area again where people are, are friendly and considerate and don't make noise and I mean any noise there's no music playing, no power tools, no loud motorcycles, no loud machinery or anything like that. That's all banned. The only places that you can do things like that are places far away from civilization. So, you can have your music on just as long as it's not loud enough for the neighbors to hear. Although our neighbours right now are pretty quiet, they don't make much in the way of noise at all, but I'm just saying. In fact, this utopia of mine, if you went there, it would be like you're going back in time to like the, the 80s or the 70s. So the, the city areas like the 80s and the suburban areas more like the 70s. And cars look like they used to. Not just these bulbous, ugly oval things that we have now. They cars actually look like cars there. And stereo equipment and TVs look like they used to. I mean, the TVs, even though they look like 70s TVs, they can still pick up HD channels and digital channels. But analog channels are back in my utopia. So you've got three choices of broadcast there. You've got analog, you've got digital, you've got high definition, all of which any TV there can see and show in its full glory. The stereo equipment looks like it did back in the 70s. So yeah, even though CD and Blu-ray and DVD and all that is still a thing, Tapes and VHS are in this utopia of mine. Tapes and VHS are like the dominant format when it comes to audio and video. And there's no cell phones, you know, no smartphones. Because out here, almost everybody I see is either yapping away on their phone or texting, excuse me, was none of that in my utopia. Smartphones are just not a thing. And finally, well actually, not finally, because I've just thought of something else. In this perfect world of mine, the weather is always good. It only rains at night, and the nights when it rains is only when it needs to rain, like if it's, if it's a bit dry then that night or that evening will have rain and the occasional thunderstorm or two. But all the other time the weather is nice and pleasant. Pleasant temperatures all year round, stays around 25 Celsius. 
never going more than a few degrees above or below that. And my battery is getting really low. So I make a new fire. That's my perfect world. Oh, the other thing in my perfect world is everybody's young again. Nobody ages. And I'm about 12 again. And all my friends that I used to know when I was a kid, they're still kids. And also Sonic and his friends are real and Tails is real, so I can be best friends with Tails as well, but... Yeah, that's my perfect world, you know. And movies and games and videos are all the kind of things that I would enjoy. So, all the movies are good and wholesome movies. Like The Goonies, which was one of my favourite films as a kid. The music, you know, rock, groove and soul and jazz and synthwave. And 80s um, electronic music. You know, none of this modern electronic garbage. Or none of this rap or EDM, which is what all people listen to these days. Anyway, uh, yeah, my battery is about to die, so, uh, I better go. Is this just another vlog, or another complain log, because weather. Don't know if it's ever going to get nice again. Don't know if we're ever going to see the sun again. I don't know if we're ever going to have nice, warm temperatures. I mean, it's supposed to be, like, maybe 25 right now at this time of year and listen to that light hum oh yeah like I say it's like 11 degrees out here that's not where it's supposed to be it should be at least twice that anyway yeah that's enough complaining because my battery's about to die so uh, until next time goodbye just don't know what has gone on with the weather Whoever's in charge up there, fix your damn weather!